Thank you, Tony. I appreciate all the work that you have done over the last two, three years that you have been in Congress. You have really taken this, this issue. You have shown that you care. You've come down here with solutions. I want to thank the speaker and his team for recognizing this is a priority. This is a priority in our country. This is a priority for cities and states all across our country. And I come here not only as a Texas representative, but also as a former Texas mayor that took on this issue head on. We worked and we partnered with Immigration and Customs Enforcement. We had more criminal illegal aliens depart, de, uh, deported from my city during the time that I was mayor than any other city in the country per capita. And what we found was we had decreased crime almost overnight. We became the fifth safest city in the country because we actually followed and enforced our laws. We were criticized by sanctuary cities across the country who are now starting to feel what happens when you have illegal immigrants come into your, into your city. You can't handle the resources. You don't have it, whether or not it's housing, school, infrastructure, health care. They're finally hearing it. They're finally seeing it, and they're finally speaking out about it. We had an opportunity today to talk to several local elected officials, to several sheriffs. What they told us is we are not dealing with an immigration pro problem. We are dealing with a sex trade problem. We are dealing with a cartel issue. This is where your focus needs to be. When you have women who are brought into this country, who are being treated as slaves, who are still in, 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 hell and, in hold and emboldened by cartel members that takes 13 to 18 years potentially to be able to work off their debt. That is what we are seeing under a Biden administration. You have had 100,000 children come into this country and they've lost. We have absolutely no idea where they are. How is this possible and how under our governance is this happening? I will tell you another thing that they were very clear about was we implore you, and this is a quote, hold the line. You have the ability through your, your power of the purse to force this administration to do its job. It's sad that you have to do that, but that is exactly the position that we find ourselves in. Hold the line. None of us want to shut down the government, but we all recognize the fact that every single penny that we are giving to Homeland Security at this point that is not being used to secure our border, that is not being used to increase our national security, but is doing the exact opposite, it is weakening it, it is forcing more and more people quickly, more efficiently into our country illegally, is hurting our national security, hurting our best interests and killing our economy and local, and local governments. When you've had over 100,000 people that have been killed as a result of fentanyl, more than any other terrorist attack on our country, this is a time to take steps. This is a time to, to hold the line. And we in Congress, we have, a, we have a bill, H.R. 2, and I could not agree any more strongly with Representative Gonzalez that we do have to target the cartels. But we have a job to do. The American people are absolutely sick of the policies that they've seen under the Biden administration. And we will hold the line and we will fight to make sure H.R. 2 is passed, as well as other border security measures that will support our Customs and Border Patrol and help secure our nation. Thank you. And with that, I want to introduce...